Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. If you are new, hi, my name's Shivana, and uh, hey. So today I'm gonna show you guys how I edit my Instagram pictures. I've actually gotten quite a bit of questions about how I edit my pictures and stuff, so I thought I would make a video about it. So I use Lightroom to edit my pictures, and I actually just use some Lightroom presets. A lot of people are now selling presets, um, they make their own, they're like influencers and stuff, but a lot of times those are really expensive. And your girl's on a college budget, so. So what I did is I went to Etsy and I downloaded or I bought a preset pack called Wonderland Pink. And it just looks like this and it will be up here on the screen for you guys. Um, it's really pretty. I personally really like the look of it and I'm really happy that I have it. Right now it's on sale for like $4, which isn't that bad and it comes with eight presets. So, and I'll have that link down below if you guys want to check it out. Um, so what I did was I bought it and then they sent me an email and the email just kind of looks like this and it comes with all of the presets here. So what you do is you just open the DNG file, um, hit the little like send looking thing at the top and then scroll over to copy to Lightroom. If Lightroom doesn't pop up, um, you can go to more and just add it to your activities, but um, make sure you have the Lightroom app downloaded beforehand. Also, when you're looking for presets, make sure you download a mobile preset, unless you do pay for Lightroom, then you would, then you could do the desktop version, um, but I don't pay for the subscription, so Lightroom mobile is free, so we love that. So, um, you just hit copy to Lightroom, once it's in Lightroom, so yeah, so once it's in Lightroom, it's gonna pop up like this. In the top right corner, there'll be three little dots. You can go to create preset, and then you can name your preset, put it in which preset group that you want it to be in, and then just check it off, and it will add it to your presets. So that's how I got the preset in the first place, and then now I'm gonna show you how I edit them. So to start off, I just go to the little add button at the bottom, to add my photos. Um, I always favorite pictures before I um, edit them and then I just scroll down to favorites and then I can just add the ones that I like. And it works the same as if you were selecting pictures in photos. You can just slide your finger across and select them all at once. And I just go to all pictures and they are going to be showing up here in just a second. Okay, so um, here I'm just going to select a picture that I want to edit. Um, then at the bottom, in the tools section, I just scroll all the way to the left, to the right, all the way to the other side. And then there'll be a preset section, so I just click that, and your presets that you added will be in here. Um, so, I personally like the ones that are super light and bright, so my favorite go-to is Wonderland Hi, are you gonna fall? I attempted to make my background a little bit more interesting by adding that on my wall because I literally have nothing on my wall and I just stuck it up with scotch tape so it's just kind of hanging on. <laughs> um, so I hit the preset that I want but just keep in mind that lighting affects the picture a lot and so sometimes they're not always going to look good. Um, so keep that in mind when you're buying them. Make sure you're looking at the before of the picture and if it's really not a dark picture and you take a lot of photos that are not as well lit then the presets not going to come out the same on your photos um so yeah i'm going to use wonderland light and then just click the check mark and then you can actually go in and edit more if you want to um so i'm going to go ahead and play with the lighting a little bit you can like make it kind of whatever you're feeling, I don't know. Um, and then something really cool about Lightroom is you can go in and fix each individual color. So you can play with all the colors at once and like saturate them or whatever. Or if you want to, you can go up to like where it says mix at the top of this section um, and you can play with the individual colors, which is really cool. Um, so if you wanted to make the reds pop, you can make the reds pop. You can also change them to be a little bit more orange or more red, whatever you want to do with them. You can do it with each color. Pretty freaking cool. Or you can like make them more saturated or whatever you want to do. And then when you're done, you just hit done. 
So now that I am pretty much happy with my picture, I'll just go up to the top where it looks like the little send button again and just save it to my camera roll. I always do maximum available and then it will be my camera roll. The next thing that I do is I put them into an app called Unum. Um, this app allows you to like preset your feed and like know what a picture will look like ahead of time, which I really love. Um, U -M -U -N, or U -N. I'm tongue tied. You guys can see it. This is what it looks like. So when you go in, you just log into your Instagram and it will pull up your current feed, which I think is really cool. And then you can like grid shift so you can, it doesn't allow you to move current photos. A lot of people ask that. I thought it did that at first too, but it doesn't do that. Um, but it does grid shift so you can like see what the next two photos will look like or the next one picture, whatever it will be. So then you just tap on an empty grid, click add, and then you can add in whatever picture you wanted to see what it would look like on your feed. And I think I'm gonna go with that one, but you can also add more. And then something I really love is the swap feature is really cool. So if you click on multiple pictures, I like to like scroll up so it would look like my Instagram grid and then just hit swap and then I can see which picture I like better as the next photo. So I'm gonna post this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit export, post to Instagram. And then it literally just takes you to Instagram. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add more pictures. Just gonna go over and write a caption. And then I gotta go in and tag everyone. So I'll be back when I'm done with that. Okay, so I just got everybody pretty much tagged. And now I'm just gonna share the picture. Yeah. <laughs> And that's about it guys, that's how I do Instagram. <laughs> so yeah, this is my Instagram right here. This is what my feed looks like if you guys were curious. If you want to, you can follow me. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below if this was helpful and like what was helpful. And if you guys want to see anything else, let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.